second lesson Matthew chapter 24 verse 11 and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many brethren from personal experience have you not seen them today in the world they themselves know that God is neither devil nor ghost, but the word. From the effect of word, they know there is no chance for them in the kingdom of God. They then go about lecturing falsely and criticizing what they do not even know about brotherhood of the cross and star as a whole in the real sense of the word they can only deceive their very counterparts because those of god are born like that and have been given a promise by god for their protection against evil you can equally testify that at the time you wanted to join the fold of brotherhood of the cross and star they tried all means to dissuade you with false news about what they claim to have known about the fold they would broadcast all over causing you much embarrassment and once you become baptized they make you their resting place with visits in rotation in pursuit of their evil operations another major point is that through the ignorance of men they often allege that when they were members in brother of the cross and star the leader demanded seven human beings from them as sacrifice and as they could not accept such offer they went out i i have if after such false release they realize that you are not still convinced about the story they will turn to inquire from you what gains you have derived from brotherhood of the cross and star sometimes certain amount can be borrowed from you by these coffers and when you demand for its refund they turn to quote you as having fallen off from the practical side of love one another thereafter you should forget about this about the money completely others will allege that the organization is for graduates and will start counting them by name but you being an illiterate there will be no room for you in the fold the most interesting part is that when they point out that you are worshiping man giving glory reverence to an ordinary man like yourself and that they are worshiping the true god and jesus you become mixed up and plan to deny your faith this group of people form crusaders comprising are comprised of lawyers of doctors engineers and so on almost all learned men in order to keep themselves from the truth if satan could be so efficient in performing its own functions how much more the children of god remember the blacksmith whose working instructions were ordered to be burnt because his nature of work seemed to disturb certain people at that time when the blacksmith heard about the plan he became confused in that he would no longer be getting his livelihood so he 
on the other hand, started a campaign among the very people and opposed the idea. So you see that most actions being carried out are the effect of spoken words. The war of Armageddon we are hearing of is not to be fought with physical war implements but by words. All the time there must be someone who stands out with an idea whereby the people around must join and carry out the operations. It is better we have it is better we leave them to their duties because they will perish with their works. Brethren, you have been authorized to go into the world because when you preach as a child of God in order to save souls, these prophets will equally render their own counter-preaching even though what you have already planted will help the sheep to retrieve their faith in God. It is not true that you should not call people to God's salvation. Tell them about the glory of God and the marvelous work witnessed among the people throughout the whole universe. According to the scripture, all those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, the big question is, how can they call upon him whom they do not hear of? It is difficult to pray for someone to help when you do not know anything about such a person or to have heard about him to know whether such can be helpful to you when you call on him because of the false doctrines of these prophets the world is convinced to believe that god has no power or is never in existence that power can be obtained from juju concoctions water gods herbalists secret societies and such the like Therefore, many people deny the existence of God and fix their faith on this line seeking for help and power. Consequently, they thereby perish. Another, another question comes that, Oh, then can they hear of him when there is no preacher? And how can somebody preach? if he has not been sent. The work at hand. Brethren, no. You all have been given the power and order to spread this glory throughout the world in order to gather back the misled sheep to the fold of God. There is none who has not seen the glory of God in brotherhood of the cross and star today? From the existence of man, he dwells under the influence of tradition. That is the act of what my great-grandfather had been doing. Because of this, some believe the problem now facing the world is that brotherhood of the cross and star has come to stamp out tradition that if someone dies there will be no mourning house to be observed even no ringing of bell notifying such death the, that drinks will not be allowed during funeral celebration but as a member in FP or Obong or any other secret cult, counting their losses, 
they objected and vowed never to join Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. They are fully satisfied remaining in their former denominations, which they claim were founded by their grandparents. Also, that when in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, one no more reckon on his relations any longer, being immediately hypnotized by the wonderful power found in the fold. From this, you are aware that most actions of the people in the world are caused by these coffers because of misleading information. Sometimes it may be that you are expecting mere headache. But when you happen to discuss how far the pain is worrying you, any of these deceivers will start to give, in, to give instances how his or her relation died because of such a date. And with fear, you join him to prepare concoction and thereby you fail. Test your fate by self-control. Brethren, it is said, you are judged by your own words. This statement should be a guiding principle to everyone because from your conversation to the world, they use your own words and play their politics. If you visit a doctor and he happens to know that you are a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star and possibly you were on fasting, from what you tell him, about your health, he will diagnose and confirm to you that you are anemic. But he is telling a lie because the blood that is being pumped into you during fasting period is over and above normal level since God is dwelling in his own children. Another can be that you complain about certain disorders, mostly as a young girl. The doctor will ask how long since you have intimacy with a man. You then tell him you have forsaken fornication for about two years now. He will strictly, he will surely laugh you to scorn and pour a curse on you that as a young girl you want to kill yourself by staying away from man for that long and that you must look for a man right away in order to get refreshed. He will curse God. And the doctrine of your faith is misleading. Therefore, if you are worried and become convinced of his medical prescriptions, you start getting involved in fornication in full desire than it was before, and thereby you fall from the truth their duty is to mislead. Therefore, never discuss your problem with any human being and never trust anyone. Table your problem before God in prayers because you have been told that whenever you are sick or whether you have a serious case coupled with various tribulations in life, Go on your knees, knock your head, and converse with God who will solve all problems for you. Now, let our golden text be read again. Listen very attentively. Golden text, 1 John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us. 
but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Brethren, the above passage is self-explanatory, which serves as a war implement in the whole world. These deceitful prophets are in our midst, but since they cannot cope with the work of the Holy Spirit because of their destiny, they retire and become engaged in blaspheming against brotherhood of the cross and star. It is true that the kingdom of God is by struggling. It is likened to a fisherman's net being cast into the sea, whereby when he drags the net to the shore, he will find dead objects. He will find stones, wood, and also fishes. He then will select out to himself only what he needs. So it is that these false prophets will surely be selected out because they are not of us. This gospel reveals that those begotten of God can never be shaken by wild and vain talks. They remain steadfast even under wild storms. If you see anyone who leaves brother out of the cross and star, watch closely, watch closely, and you will know that he was not meant for it. Brother out of the cross and star is no church. It is no prayer house or juju shrine, neither a secret cult, but it is the new kingdom of God for the children of God. If you doubt this statement, cast your mind back to the various accusations, the various shames, temptations, abuses, blackmailing, and such the like, being meted out and brought out of the cross and star. It reached the climax which could have caused most of you, the members, to deny this new kingdom, considering even your family waging war, husband and wife against each other, people ridicule, ridiculing you at offices and along the streets, all these only, all these only, to threaten you, to deny your faith, yet you are still firm and brother of the cross and star still stands forever. Amen. Accept God and have life. Brethren, the most surprising thing is that though series of warnings are being spread around, that brother of the cross and star is a secret cult and no one should accept his teaching. Yet it is very easy for brotherhood member to convince thousands at a glance while these false prophets cannot change even a little child in brotherhood of the cross and star. Yes, this is so because brotherhood of the cross and star is the new kingdom of God and it is only the children of God that can save the world from hellfire. They are to judge the world and angels. Therefore, call them in so that they may not perish. The Bible contains the prophecies and testimonies of the work of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ and the faithful apostles. Therefore, testify to the world about his glory and power from what you have heard and seen because the time is at hand and it is through your messages that many souls 
will gain salvation. Brethren, we should not go further. He that have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.